Good morning, what's going on guys? Dark Sizzle, Puddin, coming at you from the deep sea. We are in our center console today. If you're new to the channel, we're a Florida fishing couple and we've got our big heavy duty LP $6,000 combo here. We are gonna be doing some deep dropping. That's right guys, we're in about, how deep are we? 800 feet of water? Yep. Uh, out of Boynton today, 700? 760. All right, tell them about the rig a little bit, Sizzle. Yeah, let me doing. show you real quick what we're doing here. We are hopefully going to be catching some kind of tile fish. That's the plan at least, but there's all kinds of cool stuff to catch. So starting at the very top here, we have a very heavy duty snap swivel. And then that is attached to our fancy r, &R tackle rig. And we also have RJ Boyle deep drop light on there. I picked the white light today. And like I said, this is an R&R &R tackle deep drop rig, uh, Edo style hooks on here. And these are really nice. We caught our last golden tile fish on this exact rig. So we figured why is, might as well support small local businesses in the area and we're using their rig today. And then at the very end of it, we got six hooks attached, just like a chicken rig basically. We have a 10 pound weight. We have a lot of current today, over three knots of current want to make sure we hit the bottom and actually get to where the fish are. So now we're going to rig it up with bait. All right, so this is a um, very old, very old piece of bonita that I cut off and froze. Um, in general, you would like fresh bait, which we tried already this morning for about over an hour trying to catch some fresh barracuda, which is also a great bait for golden tiles. But I've caught them on bonita chunks in the past, so that's what I'm going to use. And then I'm also going to use fresh hooks, fresh squid on the top hooks. So that way we have a mixture of different baits down there. And, you know, and we're not real experienced at this, but one great thing we have learned is use bigger chunks of fish for the tiles. And the rosies will eat the squid, no problem. Yeah. So the ro and rosies are great, but you want to, you know, want to catch different fish too. Only Darcy t even touches this reel. I only carry it. I've never touched a button. I don't know how to use it. We bought the $6,000 LP. You want to know when to be complaining about Darcy when <coughs> talking any crap when Darcy caught fish. This is what we deal with being girl fishermen out here. This is what we deal with. All right, go for it. Here we go, sending it to the bottom. And down there, there's pitch black. I'm just driving into the current, trying to keep the boat straight and not drifting back too much because we got like a three knot current. All right, so it's scoping way back out, then it's gonna hit, and then we're gonna back over it slowly. How much line you got out? 1,300. 1,300, we got 1,300 feet of line and 750 feet. All right, hit bottom. Now we watch the tip. All right, this is like job number four for us. We actually have a fish on there. I literally didn't think we got a bite here. Hold on, let me help you. You got it. Ugh. All right. A decent sized ones too. There we go. Yeah, that's about an average size black belly rose fish you would catch. So where there's rosies, there are goldens. That's usually a general thing. So we have just been bouncing around, trying different stuff, trying different baits, and this is our first fish in four drops. Yeah, we, you know, we're trying to find new spots, deep drop spots. People don't just give you spots, you gotta work for them. So we tried two or three places, they didn't work out at all. And it's Saturday, everyone's out here. So it was, or one of our regular spots is full of people just trolling and everything else. I can't so. believe this Rosie ate this giant bait for a golden. So, uh, but anyway, we got one. <laughs> we got a fish. Okie dokie, there it is. The black belly rose fish. He is very cold from the bottom. Basically, they live in the mud with their eyes sticking straight up so they can look right at you and look for predators and stuff. And called the black belly rosefish because the inside is very, very black. The inside of his mouth. Absolutely delicious. Again, don't get much bigger than this. This is a nice size one for sure. And you can't go wrong with them. They're delicious. All right. Let's get rebaited up. Reset here. Looks like my top baits were taken off too. So we did get some bites there. Now I'm excited to redrop on this spot. Update time. Still struggling. We're getting slightly frustrated. Not slightly, very frustrated. Um, after that vermilion, we lost uh, weight. Vermilion? Not vermilion. Black belly rosy fish. We, we lost lo two weights. We, well, we lost one weight, a 10, a 10 pound weight, and we just lost another weight. Come up, we're bringing it up right now. The rig's on there, there might be a fish on. We're not sure. It's not a monster, but we'll see. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we we're try just trying different spots, we're trying to learn spots. And the bite, especially for us, doesn't seem to be that great today. Yeah. Just one of those days where you have to really put your time in, really move around, 
and you got work. You got to work for it. I yeah. mean, I know you guys don't think that the electric might not be working, but like you are working, you are fishing. It's yeah, you're it's really fishing. everything you do on a normal day of fishing, honestly. Totally. And I'm just bummed kind of too, because we really never had like real fresh bait. Yeah, the bait's not that great, but- um, We're also not catching too much. We should, we, the spots we have caught these roads, the roads these fish are really fairly easy to catch. So all, all the spots we usually catch those, we're not catching them today, so it just really is like fishing. Yeah. Um, so I'm not sure what it is. You know, we don't do this a lot in the winter. And again, like I said, we're not that experienced at it. You're right, we've caught all of our fish in the summer. Right, so this, this is really the kind of thing that you need the spots. And if you don't have the spots, you gotta find the spots, and we're still in that phase. Right. But uh, we're just showing you, you know. And that takes many trips and years and years of being out here and dropping lines down. I mean, and losing many that's weights. That's all you do it. Yeah. That's, all, that's the only way you can do it. <laughs> it's not like just given to you. Right. So uh, anyway, but we're bringing you guys along, documenting our journey. All right, 100. You know, we're not professional fishermen. We're just uh, people that love the fish and we love to show you what happens with us. There's a weed slipping. All right, no fish. I was wrong. There's a weed slipping down the line and All right, hits we didn't get no bites slip. here, babe. So. All right, I'm moving. All right, guys, we're back at the house here. We got some coolers out here with like carcasses and then we got our one Rosie. I didn't want to try to grab him. He's so slimy and so pointy that I've already got enough cuts all over my fingers that I don't need any more cuts. All right, I'm going to spray him off real quick and we're going to dive right into this, fillet him up. Got my super sharp gross little knives ready. We're all set. Our one fish, that's what fishing is all about, guys. We don't go out there and crush it every single time. And on the days that you don't see us, the days that we don't catch fish, you don't see that because we don't have anything for you guys to see. So it does happen, but these are one of these days that were slower for us and we learned a lot and next time we can only do better, right? So let's just dive right into filleting this black belly rose fish. It's gonna be delicious no matter what. We'll make a meal out of them, no complaints. Blessed to be on the water on a flat, calm day anyways. It was just gorgeous out there. All right, I've got a little piece of fish on there. Okay, so let's dive right into this. We got my six and my eight inch or sizzle knife today, but we're just gonna stick with a six. I got some fish on there. That's all right though. <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> all right, and this fish does have scales. They live in like the muddy, rocky bottom in pitch black water, as we told you guys on the boat. I'm just cutting up at the head, but wait till you guys see this meat. It's so, so white. And their skin is pretty thin. Let's go all the way down. And this meat is like snow white. It's gorgeous. Slab off this side. Nice. And I'm going to link down below where we get our deep drop rigs from. You guys can check them out if you're interested or want to do deep dropping on your own. But... You know, just like any other fishing, there's a learning curve to it. All right, flip it over. We're gonna do the same exact thing. I mean, we're definitely gonna get a little meal out of it. Brian and I will be able to share it, so no complaints. Up into the head. He's got this really wide gill plate that goes out, but I cut up into the head. I really like my flexible blade, so I can just get right along those bones, make use of the knife. And there we go. We got our two loins, our two fillets. You use the same exact knife, and I'm just gonna go ahead and skin it like every other fish. Like I said, it is a thin skin on this particular species, but it's pretty easy to skin in my opinion. There's one. Oh, it's gonna be tasty. All right, and that's about it. We're done with that. Just gonna knock out those little pin bones, but look how look amazing that looks. Let's jump right into the house to cook up this delicious fish. All right, welcome guys for another edition of Cooking with Pudding. Thanks to us for cleaning up that fish. Whoop. This is the really short edition I'm already done. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Very simple. We just took you guys along for this journey. You know, every time we talk to our patrons and our email list and all you folks, you know, you guys always want to see what actually happens out there. And it's not all rose petals and flowers and yeah. fireworks. All right, so we're taking along the good and the bad. Hopefully you all learned something along the way. I just took this one fish, threw it in a pan, butter, salt, and pepper. If your fish don't taste good with butter and salt and pepper, it's a crap fish, <laughs> okay? <laughs> <laughs> and that means you gotta make it better. We gotta fry it up or something like catfish, alligator. But this fish is nice and white. You can even eat it with your hand like I'm, I am because I'm pudding. Yep. Hmm. It's very, very good. It's delicious. She can't eat it hot like I can. I cannot. I will burn my tongue. We've had, we've had some other videos uh, with a little bit more success on the rosies. <gasps> Maybe put some links down. <laughs> Maybe put some links down in the description. And uh, I don't know if we talked about that reel too much. The LP reel, Lingren Pittman, electric. 
you know, this fish is a little small for that reel, obviously, but if you want to get down 850 feet deep and the three knots, the four knot current we have down here with eight or 10 pounds of weight, that's what you do down here. Now we got that right. reel also for tile fish, you know, deep grouper and Sword. swordfish. Okay. So it covers the whole gamut. Okay. Instead yes. of buying, having to buy another reel. Yes. That's it. That's it about it, guys. Thank you so much for joining us on today's adventure. It was a little bit frustrating for us, but at the same time, we have to appreciate being out there. Gorgeous, flat, calm ocean. I mean, you know, putting always says, life. you have to enjoy the journey. Yes. If does. you're going to be a fisherman and you just can't worry about the destination all the time, you're going to have a terrible, you're going to have a lot of terrible trips. All right. Enjoy the yeah. destination. Enjoy your family. Yeah. Your beautiful girlfriend. So Let's we go. haven't really showed you guys the slow fishing, but we are this time. So go ahead and comment down below. <laughs> let us know what you thought. And until our next adventure, follow, follow your, your dreams. dreams. And, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Where's my beer? Oh, it's the middle of the day, you drunk. You suck. <laughs> All right. Brian's on a diet, and we'll let him have the rest. There you go. Perfect meal for him. Yo. I'm going to eat the junk. <laughs> <laughs>